Okay, this is the second part of the job on the previous video. And, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to run some uh, new fluid through it. The old's getting pretty greasy. I mean, i got to bleed it anyway because I just swapped the caliper over. And, uh, yeah, because I'm usually doing things on my own, I've come up with ways to do things on my own that usually require two people. And one is the, the brake bleeding. Anyway, what I've done, I've already cleaned out the uh, yeah, the front reservoir and looking at the way it's filled up and the, you know, the of course it you know, funnels from one end to the other. If I don't clean the rear, it's just going to, all the muck's just going to keep going back into the front. I will bleed the brakes, the rear ones as well, but yeah, won't be doing that tonight. Anyway, yeah, so what you do, this is a syringe, I got this from Super Cheap, so most auto parts that have them, it's for, yeah, accurately measuring um, oils, I actually bought it for putting foil, fork oil on the motorbike, so I could be accurate with it, but anyway, yeah, it's uh, yeah, good way to Remove the excess fluid. Because this is always quicker when you've got two ends to do it with and you're not holding the camera. But... Yeah, so. Okay. So that's that reservoir. I'll clean that out also with a clean rag. Wipe it all out before putting some new fluid in it. So I'll just empty this, get rid of that. Okay. It's only with this syringe, when you push it right down to the bottom, it gets stuck, it jams up. Get all that old fluid out. Right. Now I'm going to show you. Okay, we sort of have enough fluid in there. I'll keep this going on this video. Right, I just had to clean the bleeder out. The bleeder was actually rusted up. And, uh, yeah, run a bit of... Well, I did run a bit of grease around it, but when you fluid might have washed it off now. But, yeah. Have a clear hose on your syringe. And a little bit of grease around the bleeder because otherwise it will suck air in around the bleeder well, when you're syringing it. It won't pump fluid out when you're bleeding it normal, but when you're syringing it, it will draw air in. So, cool. I remember tightening that. Nice stuff. So the air coming up. A real important thing. So you can and you can bleed brakes. Yeah. There we go, that's sucking air in. Remember what I was saying about the grease? Yeah. I'd have to take that off again anyway, but anyway, you've seen the, the thing, yeah, because the, the bleeder was clogged, and I have it a wash on him, put more grease back on it, so yeah, you see what, see it, I can hear it, you can probably hear it too, that's drawing the air in around the bleeder, so, but one important thing, and even if you're, if you're pumping it bleeding, Breaks the regular way by pumping the pedal. Have your hose running up. Yeah. Even if it's going to run up and go back into a container, have a long hose run it right up and around and back into the container. And the reason for that is that the fluid will stay in the bottom of the hose. The air will come to the top, the fluid will stay in the bottom of the hose. And that way it won't draw the air back in. It can only draw fluid in because the air is at the top. That makes sense. See? 
you know, if I was bleeding it regularly and had it down like that, your air stays here. And as soon as you, as soon as you let your foot off the pedal, it draws that air back into the system again. So, yeah, even if you're just pumping it out with the pedal by yourself, run your line right up high, and it won't draw air back into it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to pull that out now and wipe it, run a bit of grease around the nipple because it's, yeah, it's drawing air in. But, yeah, that's how I bleed brakes when I'm by myself. I do a bit of both. I do a bit of foot pumping but as well just to, to get it through, but that's how I draw the air out of it, just with a syringe. No assistance. And, uh, yeah, as always, keep an eye on your, your fluid level in your reservoir. And, uh, okay. Bye.